move it around. All right, but go on and get it off of Gordon Wilson's top. But I don't want you pinging it into him. Fly it into him. You can take it off and get a toe. Lost possession on a Saturday. All right, go and work his touch now. Yep, on we go. Sharp. Go and work it. Go and actually try and get it off him. In terms of season wise, we're doing all right so far. Um, we've obviously had a bit of a uh, good press with the Scottish Cup. Um, we've obviously been on telly. Um, club worked really, really hard behind the scenes for the licence to actually get into the Scottish. We played obviously though Keith at home. Great result, and obviously we had the TV. It was uh, it was brilliant for the club, the fans, community, um, and everyone sort of associated with the club. It was as if that hard work sort of paid off. And I think obviously the cherry and the cake was um, was obviously putting them out, and now we've got home tie against Clyde. Um, in terms of domestic uh, campaign, we're sitting third or fourth in the league, um, which which we're doing all right. Um, we uh, and we're still currently in two domestic cups. Yeah, well, obviously it's massive. At, at, at the higher you go, there's all sort of sports sciences and data and all that and stuff as as um, as, as you go. Um, we we are relatively new to it, Clyde Bank. You know, we've been with player data for maybe since. Uh, maybe two years since uh, the gaffer and that came into the club and we've used it. We've slowly progressed in terms of how we use it. I think it was getting used to how player data work and how we use it. So we now use it for various things. I think more clubs are trying to be, be as professional as possible and I think the player data and, and data in itself has it, it come more into a game. I think there's, there's six or seven teams across our level that use it and then up even at League 2 and League 1. Obviously in the SPFL will all be using it but I think at the lower end or the pathway, the lower end of the pathway, teams are starting to use it a lot more and it's becoming more and more popular. First and foremost, we look at work, we look at work, rate, we look at the numbers, that's the first thing we generally look at. I think that's important to see what the team are putting in and what players are individual. We obviously look at the system that we play, that we don't expect certain players to, to hit out certain numbers. In the other sense, we do expect certain players to hit certain numbers if we, where the, the dynamic of the positions are. Um, so we used it at that. I think this season we've used it a wee bit more in terms of the gaffer likes a wee bit of input in terms of what we need to put into a game to get a positive result, ideally a win. Uh, and then we can look at it from a point of view where where did we not win and can we look at the numbers and say, well, we've not worked hard enough or we've maybe in other games we've, we've not had as much output because maybe we've dominated the ball so much. We are not running as, as much without it. So we've used it a wee bit more this season to gauge for the for the for individuals for even a back four or a midfield and for a team to, to what they need to put in for us to get a successful result on a Saturday or the minimum of what guys can put in and know that we'll get out of that game. That's why I'm asking you to take off the poles. Go by the poles before you play it. Go Heat maps poles. are pretty simple for me. You play your position, you stay in your position position. <laughs> We've got a lot of flexibility within a midfield and strikers so they'll tend to move but you know a heat map from if you're looking at it from two centre half's point of view, you want them where they want to be playing. Um, but yeah, the gaffer system and the way we want to play, we've got a lot of flexibility with our wide guys and our, and our full backs. So it's not something we're sort of alarmed when we look at it. We expect to see a lot of movement for our players. That's what we want to see. I, I think it helps in terms of where guys are in, in course of the games. You know what I mean? It gives you a rough idea of where they're playing, where they're strong, um, maybe in terms of other sense where they're, they're maybe they're not moving as much. But um, in terms of the heat maps, we've, we're probably starting to use it a wee bit more right. um, at the start of this season. It's only sort of we've used it m more this season. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fr pretty straightforward from what we look at it at. We've obviously had big, massive games this season. You know, we've played a lot of the big teams at home. It's a big Astro Park out there. You know, you go away from home and the park's not as big, so you might find the numbers are not as low. We've obviously had, you know, the Elgin Scottish Cup game. They were they were probably our two biggest outputs of the season. You know, there's, there's no getting away from it. It was a jump in class. No disrespect to, to the league that we're in. They're a league, what? They're a league, um, many, a league, league two how many, side. How many divisions above you are? They? So they're basically a uh, league two side, and we're in obviously the rest. So they've got the Lowland League above yeah. us, and then you've got obviously League two. Um, so yeah, we we had a big output against um, a League two side, which which we needed. Um, and I think that was our base to get back in the game um, and I thought we were excellent after the first half hour but in terms of workload it was excellent and then again away from home as I said before on a park it was very heavy from the start um, but the work rate was more um, you know I think our average on, on Monday was about 8.5 and then the average on the Saturday was round about 9 
um, and four numbers wise players. It was round about their the eleven k data, eleven k, and uh, but it was round about the, over twelve on the Saturday. And we've you know we've got Clyde coming up who are a League One side. That's a that's a jumping class again, and I think that's that's. That's the work role that you've got to put. I mean, I remember when we first came on board, we, we played out of Brian McLean, who's obviously with you guys, and Morton. You know, he was telling us his output, and that's what he needed to put out in the game. So we're not too far away from that. Um, and I think that's 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 a given that you've got to put out that workload. And again, I think if you look at the workload we've got Monday, and we work, we got a reward for it. You know, what I mean, we're through to the next round of the cup, and, and I think that also helps when you're feeding data back to players that they're going, yep, yeah, that's that's what we've got the rewards from that. Listen, sometimes you can go and work your backside off and not get the result. That's football, you're not going to do it every time. But I think that the big numbers that we've put out, we've generally got a good result. And I think the Elgin one will always stick out because of obviously the whole dynamics of it. And again, it was a replay, we travel up to it. We also had travelling as well. So that, that takes a lot mentally as well with the, the size of the game. All that makes an impact into a player's performance. I, I would say we're better set up professionally, yeah. I think it's been excellent for us in terms of. The, the, the boys have really bought into it, you know, the club have backed the management to have it and it's worked for us without a shadow of a doubt. It's, it's helped in terms of workload, what we need to put in and it's also helped with injury prevention. I mean, there's a couple of times we've looked at numbers and we've thought, you know, we'll give you a night off. Um, so we've used it for that. So it's definitely a really, really important tool for us as a management um, in terms of the gaffer. He might look at certain reports for certain players. And then it's also important for the team that they can actually see their workload they're putting in. You know, we we give the players access to their own individual um, numbers, not to the teams, so they only see their own numbers. Um, and I think it's important that players see that as well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's, it's competitive in numbers. I think players look after themselves first and foremost, look after their own numbers. I would imagine every player goes back, looks at that, and a, and a day, you know, some players come to me and ask. I put this in or ask me some questions and that or they'll ask for some own data back. Yeah. Sometimes the gaffer will put out a report and he'll put something up on the board and, and just show them that way. Um, but I think it definitely helps the professionalism, even you know, attracting players and that whole set up the club. The club are obviously come from a professional background. Um, they're moving with the times, they commit to get the licence and stuff like that. So this player data is, is another thing for us to be professional because um, yeah. it's a professional setup and long Absolutely. may it continue. Obviously we've been on board from, from day one from player data along um, with a couple of other teams. We've had a great relationship with them, great staff. They've always helped us ongoing. We're happy to help them with anything going. Um, we would down the line, we'd like to possibly see our 20s group uh, take the, twi the player data on as well. Again, that'll be down to financial. Um, and I think, you know, because we train together, we've got the first team training together and the 20s train together, you know, now and again when the 20s come up and train with us, they do get a, a pod and they get their vest, but it'd be good that they've all got that, then the 20s can look at that, then again that's upgrading the professionalism where our 20s that are feeding into the first team have got player data and then they've got their own side as well, so yeah, it's been excellent so far and um, it's definitely helped the professionalism of the club. I think I think every modern day manager now is basically looking at everything that he can prove in the team. I think, you know, the way football's going, as I say before, with sports science and stuff like that, I think every manager wants every tool available to, to progress to his players. You're also giving your players a platform where there's no excuses. You know, we've tried to create a culture here where there's the best professional setup in, 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 in the league. That's probably debatable with other teams. There's a lot of other teams set up that, but we try to create a professional setup with, with what we can create in here. Player data is a massive part of that. Um, and I think players like that. I think players like that professional setup. They like to see clubs doing that. And I think when they see that, they buy into that. And it's, as I said, it's an attraction as well from players outside looking in. Excellent. Kirk, good luck for the rest of the season and uh, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, mate.